Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js how to series, I'm going to be showing you how to watch a file using Node.js. Now sometimes you want to keep tabs on a file, you want to detect when changes occur in a file and when those changes occur you want to trigger an action, maybe write something else to the file or create another file or move a file from one place to another or just do anything you want to do as a result of that change event or a change event occurring in a file. This is how to do it. This is how to set a watcher on the file using Node.js and trigger an action when a change occurs. So let's start by creating a file. Let's create a text file. I'm just going to say touch. I'm going to call it um, hello.txt. Hello.txt and inside this file we're just going to we're just going to put some text. So let's say um, we change this to Hi, you're on DevTalk with FK. So we're just going to put the string, this string, into the file. That'll be hello.txt. Now, if we check the content of the file, we can see we we have our text, which is Hi, you're on DevTalk with FK. So now that we have something within our file, we can now place a watcher on this file using Node.js. So to do that, I'm going to create a Node.js file. Let's call that watch.js. And let's open this up in VS Code. So now we have our project open up in VS Code. Let me just close this. We don't need them. Then open up what the JS. And we're going to be needing two Node.js core models. The first one is going to be the FS model. Bring that in which require. So you require FS. So we have the FS model and we're also going to need the path model. So require path. So now that we have these two, we can get to work. The first thing we need is to get the location of the file. So I'm just going to create another variable and call it file location. You can call it any name you want, but I'm just going to call it file location. And to do that, I'm going to make use of the path model and call the join method and then do process dot CWD, which is going to get us our current working directly directory rather, which is where we're operating from. And we're just going to tag this with our hello.txt. So this will give us a file path, the original file path to, or rather the accurate file path to our hello.txt file. So that if we move this between any platforms, let's say we move from Linux to Windows, the file location is going to be written correctly. So we have that. It's now time to set our watcher. And to do that, we're going to call the watch file function of the FS model. That's this. So let's select that watch file. The first argument that goes into watch file is our file path. So we're just going to put file location here as the location of our file. Then the next is a callback function. Now this is a very special callback function. I'm just going to start it. And the two arguments in this callback function are the previous date. That's a previous date of the file or oh, sorry I think I got that wrong thanks to this hint so we are, we are going to have the current state of the file and then also the previous state of the file so it gives us the current and previous state just in case you need to make comparison and we can arrow this up and have a curly brace to operate so this watch file function sets a watcher on our file and anytime this file changes we can trigger any action within this curly brace. We can trigger the action with this curly brace and we have these two helpers, which is the current and the previous state of the file to help us. Now, you may or may not have to use this, but it's, it's very handy and most of the time you would find yourself using it. So, current state, previous state, and what I'm going to do is just to uh, print out the time that the file was updated. Yeah, just going to print out the file that the time that the file was updated. So I'm just going to say console.log. That is the time the file changed. I'm going to print out the time the file changed. 
change at okay i think i need to switch this to a literal because i'm going to need to embed a variable here so i'm going to change it to a string literal and the changed at and for that i'm going to need the current state and i'm going to call a property on it called m time which is which stands for modified time that's the time that the file was modified now these two arguments they are start objects start as in s t a t these are objects that contain properties about a file so you have stuff like the time the file was modified which we're checking here also who created the file which group does the file belong to the date it was created the date the last time it was accessed and stuff like that just different statistics from files something similar to when you run the start command on linux or mac so we would um, get this out and save this file so we'll save this file run this piece of code and make changes to our file so when we run this piece of code this file that is the lo.txt file is going to be watched and we're going to make changes to the file manually then we'll see this message printed anytime we make a change to the file we'll see this message printed to the console so let's do that let's um go to our command line and i'm going to run our watch file so we don't get any message back we could have we could have console.log something out but we don't get anything back and as you can see the terminal is waiting for something to happen so now we can change our file and watch what happens here i'm just going to create a new tab then here let me make sure i'm in the right directory yeah i believe so just going to clear this then here i'm going to make a change to the file so i'm just going to do the vi hello txt and i'm going to enter command mode and change this hello oh sorry go to enter insert mode rather and change this i to hello and once i'm done go back to command mode and write to the file write this update to the file I'm going to click this then i'm going to go to the first terminal and as you can see we have changed at and it prints out the time it prints out the time the file was changed let me do this again manually let's go into the folder open lo.txt and add some stuff to this let me bump this up so that you can see hello you're on dev talk with fk and this is the node js out to series yeah that sounds about right we save that and if we go back to our command line you see something else is printed it actually detected the first change i think i saved once before the uh final save and now as you can see it says file changed it tells us when the file changed the time it changed the day it changed and now we're triggering events based on changes to our file if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and for more videos on Node.js how-tos, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.